Hi all, uh, welcome to my trade blog. Today is March 15, 2022. Uh, let's go over the trades I did for today. Uh, overall, today market had one of those uh, ripper of a bull run on a beer market. Um, so today was a good day to trade. Uh, and I had uh, two solid trades and a couple of break even trades. Let's look over uh, my market, uh, the uh, trades that are shown here is a bit of messed up uh, because the entry here I did not go until 317 from 184 IBC. <laughs> but uh, my uh, trends or my setups usually demands 50 point profit taking and then 75 point profit taking on the second one. Uh, second uh, contract and I do if I take more than two I do trial and stops for the rest um, So let's look at uh, the trades that I took and the reason for that uh, today were uh, uh, Two simple and good trades that I took uh, that I got um, Good returns for and then one uh, trade where I messed up uh, and Closing it before I you know it could Play out. That was one bad trade for the day. So as you can see, today the market opened up and then you know tried to flush, but then it held around the 200 EMA and then start pushing higher. And once it pushed higher than the previous high, I was confident enough that it would go higher. And I was actually expecting this to go to 380R and then do a push, you know, pull lower. But then it was it started doing here. And you can see I went long on this candle around this area, around uh, 280R region, sorry, plus 180R region. And then when it came down further, I actually added here as well, around 170, I believe, somewhere around here. Um, so that got failed and that is not showing up here. I don't know what's the reason. There is some issue with the, uh, there are certain uh, number certain orders that are missing in the transaction in this tool. It's weird, but when I check the CQJ, it's showing all the transactions. So I took two longs here, and then, you know, market just turned around and went higher as I expected. And I believe my first 50 point was somewhere around here, and then the second 75 point close was around somewhere here. So that was a good trade. Uh, I had 50 points on one contract and 75 points on the other. Now the second trade that I was talking about, which I messed up, was this one. So ideally, I would have taken here. You can see uh, the CDV was pushing back to ATMA, and I would have taken in this candle when it started pushing lower, where it touched the ATMA. Ideally, would have taken there, and I got another opportunity where you know it came down here again, touching the ATMA, and you can see here it is actually showing my buys here and here i bought and then i closed it somewhere here which was a very very bad thing because i basically closed break even like i made zero dollars on the trade uh, which means it's not even a break even i'll be paying commissions on the contracts uh, it is purely because it did not see after this atme it you know touched the atme again without making higher eyes here so i did not make a higher high so i thought maybe it might come down to you know around a 365 region and you can see this is 30 40 points away and my stops are usually at 50 points so my stop was somewhere around here just at 0 atr so i didn't want to have a trade stop out at that point and i thought you know i'll just exit for a break even here and then when it comes here i'll enter again but then it never came and it, you know, pushed higher. You know, it's one of those days where you think you're smart and, you know, trying to take, uh, you know, push on off before the SL hits, but then market turns around and says, stick to your, you know, rules. You know, sticking to the rules, I made, you know, another, two, you know, 50 and 70 points. So about, I lost about 120 points on it, you, on this one. And the third trade was pretty similar to this one, but then I was more confident here. 
I think there was some kind of news going on. I didn't know. And there was no any scheduled event. So I know if it is a scheduled event, I won't trade. But looks like there's some news hit or something because NQ came down very hard. And then I went in around 0 ATR, you can see here. And then um, I went in somewhere here. It pushed lower and then went up. And I couldn't take another one here. So I thought, you know, it's going to go up and I took another long here. And then when it pushed down again, I took another long. So I went three contracts. The reason I went three contracts is you can see the momentum for the day. It hit the third ATR and then it is reversing back to zero ATR. You can see in the, you know, beer runs, usually what happens is it will test uh, if it goes beyond 3 ATR, it will test the 2 ATR and then flush again. And then it always comes to 0 ATR. But in bull runs, it usually go to 3rd ATR and then comes to 2nd ATR and then pushes again. And then it comes to 0 ATR and then pushes. So I know when it came to 0 ATR, there is a high probability it will go to this area. I know my target is never here, you know, because... That's very rare for us to hit that area. I will have a contract when I have more than two, but then my target is always here. So you can see from here about two or 300. So this would have been known like 370. So there's 70 points, which is, you know, the target for my two contracts and rest of that is, you know, anything beyond that is a profit. Trial, trial stock profit. As you can see, it, and I observed that zero ATR has about 78 to 82% probability of hitting the, you know, the previous high. So I knew that and I went with three contracts and, you know, as expected, it pushed higher just right in the next candle where I got my first 50 points. And then the third one got trial stopped for 25 points. So that was the second good trade of the day. And the third one, um, I went in again quicker. So this was the one where I saw it was coming down. And then, you know, I can see that this is lingering. You can see this one, even though it came down to 0 ATR, and then I got out in this candle, I saw there is a possibility it can go from here to here. From here to you know here at least around this area like 386 area so i thought you know if there is enough momentum from 340 to 380 390 i'd get another you know trade but then i entered i believe uh, somewhere around here it is not showing up here for some reason yeah i think this is the one yeah i entered here 349 and then I expected it will go to 390 something. So I get that, you know, next winner. But then, you know, it did not have enough momentum, uh, enough bias coming in. And I think this was also around the lunch hours of, uh, you know, uh, New York time. So, you know, it usually is a, you know, not a great volume time. You can see that here. Uh, it hit, you know, since it went 25 points to my direction and then came back, it hit my break even. Uh, I did not take any loss today. Uh, eight, two break even trades and two good, very good trades where I took profit. So let me show another setup. I could have ideally played, but I did not. So let's let's see the reason. So you can see this. You know, it after that initial momentum higher, it started you know going in a squeeze within you know 30, 40 points, and then you know it went down and then started pushing up. I've seen this pattern very often where, you know, the squeeze tries to break in one region and then, you know, reverses to go higher. So when this happens, ideally what I do is I take the trade whenever, you know, market pulls back to ATMA. I would have ideally taken a trade here, but today I was in very good profit and I didn't want to trade after that. I had some work to do and I didn't want to trade after that. If it was, you know, another day or you know, if it was not well into profit on that day, I would have ideally taken a contract or two here and then rode this high. Might not be all the way, but at least for the 75 points that I usually do. And even here, you can see this candle, 
it's an ideal entry but then i would have most definitely not entered here because you can see it is one o'clock mountain time which means it is a three o'clock or power hour we are into the power hour of you know a market so i don't generally tend to take new trades into the power hours of the market and uh, that was all the trades that i did today it was a good day uh, two big winners two break evens and uh, uh, it's, it's a good kind of day to trade because there are days where you will not get any kind of pullback and it keeps going but this was a good day where it gave me a pullback once twice and third time i missed the second one but i captured the first and you know third one first one is always a risky bet but the third one is high probability so I, that's why you know i took two trades here and then you know three trades here um, that's all the trades for the day um, please leave your comments if you have any questions and like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you